All right, well today you can see we're gonna be doing four digit subtraction. So we're all the way up into the thousands place. Now when we do this, the first thing we're gonna to want to do is go into the ones place. And that is right here. In our ones place, we're going to start our subtraction. Well, nine minus six, as we know with our math facts, will give you a difference of three. So we're doing pretty good. Now we go to the next spot though, and as we notice in the tens place, that top digit is too small uh, for the bottom digit. So we have to look at the next space over or that hundreds place. In this case, we're gonna take from the nine, you could call it borrowing, we call it ungrouping, but either way, we take from that hundreds place, he is now an eight, and this guy now becomes an 11. From there, with our math facts, once again, we know 11 minus four is going to be seven. Finally, when we go to our next step of the hundreds place, eight minus eight is gonna give you zero. Gotta put your comma in there. And then we head on over to our thousands place. 7 minus 3. Once again, we know what our math facts will give us 4. So that brings an ultimate difference of 4,073. Notice the big thing in subtraction is where we had to take away from the 9 here. We had to ungroup it and make it an 8 and then send that hundreds place that we took from into the tens. So then that way that number was big enough to subtract by the four. Ungrouping is really important, especially when you want to subtract.